Hi, this is Stuart J. Raj here, and we're going to have some fun today with all of this Friends mania going round. Uh, yes, I'm a child of the 80s, 90s, and Friends was a thing, and so it's been really weird seeing new episodes, but as a language learner, there is some really fascinating stuff and cool stuff that watching old reruns of Friends can teach us. And so what we're going to do today, and we're just going to, I'm going to pull some stuff out of my uh, Minecraft uh, hat. We're going to see what words we can learn first in any language using friends as a tool. We're going to put vocab lists together. We're going to go through, drill the vocab, look at um, affixes, suffixes, uh, and different structures within a language, all from friends. And we might even hear specimens of that language all generated from friends. So let's have a look how we can do it. First of all, you want to open up um, subtitles. Okay, look at that. So, we got friends. What's this? Uh, one where Monica gets a new roommate that's from season one. Okay, let's grab the subtitles. So, those subtitles have downloaded into a zip file. I'm going to open them up into another file folder here now. Okay, so check it out. This is an SRT file. This is a um, subtitle file. And you'll notice in subtitle files that you have the number of each subtitle. And then I'm in Vim here. And if you're in Minecraft, you'll learn how to do all of this. Um, I'm in Vim. And so you have the subtitle number, the time in, you've got the phrases. Now, you know, some lines have two lines. Some have one line of text, but we don't want all that other stuff because we're only interested in the word for what words for what we're doing. It'll make glossary lists of the most common words that we need to learn in Indonesian. I figure if you've got a whole span of a TV show or movie, um, what are the words that are most frequent in that? I'm going to learn those first, whether it's Indonesian, Chinese, whatever language that I'm learning. So how do we get rid of this first? I just want the text. Let's have a look. So I'm going to get out of that first. So that file um, was an SRT file. Um, I'll just ls, and that's it. It's called Friends Episode One Monica Roommate. So what I'm going to do, check this out. Um, if I type head, Friends, or uh, Friends uh, Episode One Monica Roommate, that'll give me the first bit. So that's what it looks like. What about the first hundred lines, just to see how many? Uh, see what it looks like. So N100. Okay, so we're looking at that. What do we need to get rid of? We need to get rid of numbers uh, there. We need to get rid of spaces and we need to get rid of those time codes. So easy. We can just say, I want to pick up any line that had that starts with a letter. Okay, so what I'm going to use is what we call grep. Okay, um, so basically grep, I can run an expression here. Watch this, grep. And it's going to filter out the lines that I say. So this means the start of a line starts with a letter of the alphabet, A to Z or A to Z, capital or lowercase. Um, actually, I should have these like this. And just for, I want it actually case insensitive. So uh, insensitive. And I want that file. So friends, episode one. Look at that. That's the entire script. Of friends, so let's just put that in a file then. So here's the text file, episode one dot txt. Check this out. Now the cool thing about a Mac, watch this. Um, I can let me open up a terminal on the other side. Um, so terminal on a Mac, I can just say say voice and I can show you we have all of these voices these are all the voices we have in say we want Indonesian in the code for Indonesian is ID so I can use that grep command again say voice and I'm going to grep only what has ID okay so there's Indonesian the name is Damayanti okay so 
let's listen to this. I'm going to put my earphone in so I can see. Check this out. Um, let me come back here. So one thing that we can do if we want to hear this in Indonesian, say line four, I can just say. Say voice Damayanti. Dia mengantarku sampai ke Subway dan bilang. That's crazy. So we could actually get the Indonesian voice saying that. Um, how about this one? Uh, sejak kapan? So I can just say it again on that line. Sejak kapan? That's awesome. Okay, so that's one thing that we can do. But what I want to do now is get all the words in this. So let's have a look at this. I'm going to put us. Let's get rid of all the punctuation first. So one way to get rid of punctuation, I want to get all um, colons, commas, full stops, uh, quotes, quotes, exclamation marks, question marks, anything like that. Um, that should do it. And I'm going to substitute all those with nothing. Go global. Bang. It's done. It's clean. Now I'm going to put each word on its own line. So let's have a look. All I do is the same thing. I do a substitution. Um, and I want to replace every space with a new line, a carriage return. Bang. Check that out. And I can even sort. Bang! I've sorted everything. Let's get rid of... I don't really want that. Okay, let's start from here. Okay, so that is... I'm going to call this um, friendsvocab. Um, I'll call this TSV. Now, watch this. I'm going to open this up in Visidata. Visidata friendsvocab.tsv. There are my words. So what? Check this out. Command F. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I want to change all of those to lowercase. So there's an easy way. I'm just going to go out of that again. So let me open it up again in Vim. So I'm going to say uh, Vim friends vocab .tsv. And I just select all. So I just turn to visual mode and I select all. And what I'm going to do here now is just put everything. I hit U and it puts everything into lowercase. That's pretty cool. Now I'm going to save again. Save. Oh, actually, because it's a TSV file, I probably should have a title here too. So I'm going to just say Word. Now let's open in Visidata. Friends vocab TSV. So just to recap what we've done, we've got the subtitles from a friend's episode. We've gone and gotten rid of all the punctuation. We've gotten rid of everything else, turned it all to lowercase, and then made a list of every single word in there. Um, repeats and all. But have a look at this. The beautiful thing about Visidata, if I hit Command uh, Shift F for a frequency, bang, these are all the words and the frequency of the words that come up. Look at this. If you're an Indonesian speaker and you think, hey, that's pretty spot on. They're the words that are most common. Um, I'll just open it out for you. So this is awesome. If I'm going to learn a language, I'm going to learn these words. And so now you can actually turn this into your word list. Check this out. Um, I can actually um, save this list as a tab separator file. Select, select, select. And I'm going to make those widths zero. There, I've just got all the words. Um, and so actually there are a few ways I can do this. Let me, I'll, I'm going to do it like this. Go to select all and then I'm going to go Z yank every, paste it. Bang. That, that is my word list. I'll just write word up here. And so if I am learning Indonesian, I can then take this now. So I'm going to paste values only here in Google Sheets. Bang. And those are my words. And I'll just call, I'll call this one Indonesian. And I'll call this one English. 
I'm going to change that English and then if I just want to get a general Google Translate it's going to be fantastic but it'll do for the time being so I just say Google Translate I want to translate so what's that uh, A2 from Indonesian to English And there you go. Aku means I, kau, yang, tidak, tak, itu, ini, dan, tau, dia, dengan, oke, okay, akan, apa, seperti, ya, yeah, kami, oh, ada. Well, harus. You can see these words are indeed the words, the first words that you would want to learn in Indonesian. And just through the law of averages, the longer the movie, uh, the more you're going to get this general vocab uh, vocabulary um, from the subtitles. Now, subtitles, you can do a ton of stuff. Now, for anybody who has ever learned a language like Russian, Indonesian, uh, any language that uses prefixes, suffixes, or special for forms of words like verb conjugations or declensions, this is going to blow your mind. Check this out. And once you've seen this, you're going to think, oh my gosh, why didn't I ever learn how to do that before? So, regular expressions. Uh, for people who use computers, you probably know about them. People who have never used computers in programming or anything, you're probably thinking, what is a regular expression? Check this out. So I'm taking this script from Indonesian um, Friends episode, and I'm going to paste it into a regular expression engine. Now, there are some really cool, fast, free ones online. Okay, so we've loaded this up. Now, there's a whole bunch of flavors of regular expressions, but basically what regular expressions do is give you superpowers when it comes to manipulating text, searching text, so I'm just going to paste um, that entire episode here. So we've, there we've got it. And supposing, say in Indonesian, we have these um, building blocks. So we've got like a root word, buka, um, open, to open, membuka is the verb. An opener, like somebody who opens something or a bottle opener, pembuka. An opening ceremony or, or a thing that is open, bukaan, like a hole. Pembukaan, the thing that is open as a ceremony is an opening ceremony. So, pembukaan, um, membukakan, uh, to open something, the kan links it. So, all of these particles, affixes, prefixes, um, suffixes, circumfixes, infixes, um, if you're wanting to learn how they actually function, textbooks, they can give you these boring samples and they're normally staged, but if you want to see them in the wild, check this out. Okay, so have a look at this. Now, I'm going to go through it fast here. If you really want to learn how these work, come to Minecraft. Um, because you're going to get all of this. But watch this. And so, so we're going to do what's called a look ahead. So basically, we want to find anything where we find a m prefix. And then we're only interested in the root word that's there. And maybe a kan suffix at the end. But we just want to see that root. So check this out. Regular expressions give us this really cool tool. So... We want to do a look ahead of something that has a word boundary. That's a um, slash B. And then we want to look for M. And then, so that's what we're looking for. Then, we want to look for, um, of course, there could be mum if it starts with a, if it's a word with a P and mung. So this is the cool thing that regular expressions allow us to do. We can actually um, check for the different substitutions in letters that happens phonologically. And then there could be one or more of these kind of affixes. Then I want to find now slash W. So a word character, W means like any letter of a normal word across different languages. It could have an I at the end of it or and a word boundary or it could have a kan and a word boundary. Check this out. So basically, look at this. It's found all these m forms for me. That's wild. And then I can look over here and look at this. Nidur. I know that comes from Nidur Tidur. 
and in Minecraft you'll learn out why ngetau. So ngetau, we know that ng comes from ke, so ketau to know. Nyadar from sadar, nyadar, and you can actually export these. So check this out. I just hit export, and it I can open again these are all to circle. I can open these up in Visidata, create tables of them, and work out these. And these are all my words that I use. This is wild learning using technology to put our learning into overdrive. Um, okay, let's get rid of these. There are other words. Um, we have these other one. Ter. See if there are any ters there. T-E-R. Do we find any ter? Yeah, we've got ter. Ter jadi. That's the main one that's happened in there. But this is so cool. Imagine in Russian, imagine in German, when you're looking at prefixes, affixes, declension forms, you can actually get real wild text from Facebook, from movie scripts, from whatever. Drop it into here, and with your knowledge of regular expressions, you can analyze that for exactly what you're learning. Whether it's a declension form, you're learning the nominative case, the genitive case, whatever, you can actually go and get it from the wild rather than have to rely on textbooks. And that's what Minecraft is all about. Anyway, let's get back to what we were doing. This is just one thing you can do. If you like um, the fact of getting tech, a little bit of knowledge, and putting it together to give you superpowers when it comes to learn languages, you're gonna love Minecraft. So come to minecraft.me. We've got an awesome Discord group with hundreds of people in it now that are into learning languages. We've got tech topics, every language you can imagine um, from Slavic languages, um, Chinese, Japanese, Thai, Indonesian, uh, you name it, they're all there. And it's just about celebrating the mind and learning. So come into um, minecraft.me, come into the Discord server. And if you want to know more of this kind of stuff, come and join Minecraft. Um, we're having a ton of fun. And now I have the Evergreen program up so you can join all year round. I'm Stuart J. Raj, and I'll see you soon.